You coming in? Okay. Um, hi, John Wanoa here. Uh, we're in Epsom in Te Unga Waka Gorai with uh, Annette uh, Hakara. She's looking after us uh, today on this uh, special occasion of the uh, Refa Refa Manukau, Pukekoe Band of Auckland uh, Provincial Area and Rogan, the land agent from Britain. So we have put the films together today to take up the Taheke Marae and that was a native court, one of the earlier native courts where these British land agents and Rogan put those titles through to convert the native land into British land titles and from there they split the big blocks of one chief into smaller titles under the New South Wales and New Zealand Crown, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth monarch titles. So we, we, we are going back to where it all began in Taheke and Rawan. Uh, that's where the British settlers first went in uh, with the uh, ships and set up their uh, British first uh, encounter with the natives before they went over into Kororareka in the east coast side of the Bay of Islands and set up there again until Honeheke cut the flag down and they took off from there into Hillensville or Aoroa Native Court. That was the second Native Court to Okeato Native Court in the Bay of Islands. Disbanded that government and brought it to Auckland which started, the Auckland started from the Ngāti uh, uh, uh tribe and they built Auckland from Aoroa Native Magistrate Court in Hillsville. That's how it all started. And so from there, we're here back again with the original title and we're going back to that. And I'm glad to say that on the 11th of November, 1862, here in Auckland, we have chosen one piece of land in the whole provincial Auckland area here at Te Unawaka Marae to put that legacy of the New Zealand Native Land Act, which was on this day 155 years ago, with one chief, Ref Ref Manukau, he sold Pukekohe lands from Clevedon over to Afitin, where he had his Manukau Marae in uh, Afitu, that's in the Waiku Waik area of Pukekohe, stretched right over that area of Bombay onto the other side. That was one chief. The same with Hori Tikuri, native chief in Taheke. He's got a big block of land, the same one chief, on the same British title, D, and we're just putting the D titles back together over and above the church titles, which here in Auckland, the dioceses have titles of their own apart from these paramount chiefs who have the overriding titles from Britain and then split down into the church titles under the New South Wales and New Zealand government. So we are gone back to square one and we are lucky to be here on this day to uh, capture this time in frozen in time on this day to put the legacy or the authenticity back into the documents to make them legal with Annette here, that's uh, the other uh, uh, chiefs that were here when we opened this marae for a native court similar to what we're going to be doing at Tahege. We're going to open it up the same way as here as a native court. It was a native court with the Ratana Church there that I've been staying at uh, uh, Morris Baker's place on Horeke Road. Uh, just up from the main road to uh, to uh, uh, Taheke Marae up the road from there. Uh, that's about 20 minutes out of Hokiaga, out uh, of Kaikahi, I mean. Uh, so there we're going to establish the same connection here with Refere from Manika to Hori, Te Kuri. And I'm figuring that that's the Kuri uh, 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 chief that's Ngāti Kuri up north, and this will resolve that. They're coming there with their, if they have any, deed titles as 
this mod I have, and uh, Morris Baker's holding those deed titles exactly the same as these ones to join those two, and that will diffuse any other titles with this flag of the king. That's what that flag was for. It was not for Maori government, not for Maori uh, uh, whakaminia, which is totally different. The whakaminia doesn't have contracts and the commerce from Britain. It has to make its own upper house in Titi Marae, which is the other half of the lower house in the Beehive in Wellington. Those two go together under Queen Elizabeth II and that's their uh, uh, right to do that contract, which is not the king title that we're doing in this Marae today. So thank you, Annette, for having us in the Marae. We, we appreciate having to come here. We didn't need a big crowd here because we have already opened this native court up as one of the old in this church here, the Catholic Church. It has all the hallmarks of the Marae here as being they are cultural uh, heritage themselves of the people from north here on this land. It's the same piece of land anywhere in this country where put into this magistrate court. The instructions for this flag is in this book that is going to Taheke with the bits of the documents here and Rogan in his own writing. I've just joined that up to Te Unga Wakamarae, which is this front page with the deed here of Rewhera from Manukau at the 11th of November 1862 right here as the proof that this marae holds as Auckland province here with the business came from Aurora in Helensville to Auckland and this is the letter from John Rogan, the magistrate court. He had one of these and the authority of the British Crown land papers, the titles and everything and his own handwriting here and Lefa Lefa Manukau's signature here and his sale and purchase agreement, which is what this flag is, it's nothing else but that. So anybody using this flag, this flag, this flag, is not using it for its intended purpose of the king's common people. So that's what I want to say. And then if that's enough of a mouthful, that's what we did today. We just put this place on the map as being authentic today. I've stamped it on this day, here in this marae, as proof of fact cited evidence right in front of Annette here, that this is Manahi Parapara Mohini on the front of this photo here, that I've put these documents only together today, with myself as being the uh, executor of the Muriuri uh, Manukau Trust and Manahi Parapara Mohini. He's up in Kaitaia, or Hokianga, in uh, Ohio, where he lives with his wife there. And he is the descendant, direct descendant of the Manukau family. But this is only contract, it's nothing to do with anybody but this Freemason here who put all the documents together uh, with this Manukau and the Rogan. Those two did all this. This is the commerce and nothing else. So, in order to get the British to talk to any natives here. This is around the whole world. Today I'm making this statement that all the native countries in the world were made and fashioned from this title with the Lefe Manukau and Hori uh, Tikuri up north as being one and the other of a original title that started this whole country and the world off is right here. So that's all I wanted to say, really. I'm proud of what we're doing as an audience of people around the world on YouTube and Facebook. It's all there and there's no, uh, no opposition or no uh, rebuttal of this information. In fact, it's true. So that's what I'll say on a couple of words. You want to say, uh, Annette, from us, we, 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 we give you the opportunity to say something in your marae and uh, we're happy to be here with you.
privilege to let you use the mic any time for this purpose. Um, thank you. Thank um, you. My good friend here, Dion, he's uh, picking up from me to learn uh, all that I am willing to give for our people and all for the indigenous native countries of the world who are affected by this same uh, queen and her elite families that are uh, taking all the financial investment interests for themselves and their own private interests and not respecting the, the chiefs of this country uh, uh, and the people of New Zealand. They have defrauded and that's John Key is uh, run off from here uh, and left a legacy of, of debt. Uh, this country is a half a trillion in debt and that's all the system is debt and this is the creditor, judgment creditor and third party queen and everyone on that side is a judgment debtor and this is going to even accounts and settle the accounts on them. They don't settle us with treaty claims that are less than 1%. This is 100% return of land taken, land return, and this is the only way it's done. They're waiting for us around the world, watching, waiting for us to make the first move on returning land stolen. And this is the instructions for the flag, and it hasn't been done before until now. But the proof is in there online for you, and uh, that's what I was saying. Dion, you want to say something to end our night and our hui? And, or you want to say waiata or something? I'll leave that last word to you. Now, Kiro Tafanu, in our Uyo Timutu, Tena Kutu Kato, Kua Tai Mai Nei Ahau, Ki Tene Marae O Uwaka Marae, Ki Tamaki Makuru Wakarana, I New Market, I'd just like to thank the Wahine Ngāpui Kipwane o te mama, o te aroha tūtoko e ngā awhi. And on behalf of me and ngā hune wano o te tangata Ngātipuru o Ikurangi de Monga, o Waia Pūtawa, o Hūturo no taku rangatiro tainu i waka. And nuku tainu mea o te tangata iko. But kia ora koutou i katoa. And we thank you fellas very much for for observing this uh, special moment at uh, Momentum. In Orera, kia ora ana kutu. And that kutu. ends our night. So thank you very much. The time is now 8.58 and I will close this night off. Thank you very much. Bye. Uh, today being the 11th of November 2017, here's our uh, Niha, entertainer, extraordinaire.
ladies and gentlemen, Tiha, extraordinaire. Homie, oh my, the pocket. Our man of the moment, our woman, our, our queer of the moment. And then, thank you very much. Very good. That's our. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs>